Decided which dining room you're going to buy for Moira? All prices include shipping to the U.S. This is silk embroidery, yeah. Also, this silk. This is all silk. <laughs> you have to have a good eye for this, huh? Okay, we're back on the trail. What is the name of the museum we're going to? Banpo Museum. Bamboo? Banpo, not bamboo, Banpo. Banpo. Yeah, Banpo Museum. Oh. Well, Tommy, what do you think? I think a wonderful time in Xi'an. Terracotta soldiers, ceramic factory, museums, maybe taking a show tonight. Okay, we're at the uh, Bampo Museum. we got a uh, military truck going in here. I'll follow him in. There goes the military truck to the Bampo Museum. Guy is fixing up the sign here. This symbolizes something, the sign up there? Yeah. Uh, that's the existing foundation of the building. And also by our imagination. So their house looks like a yurt. Quite like a American Indian's house. Like a tent almost. Like a tent, yeah. Made out of mud? What was it made from? Mud. They had a wood frame. Mm -hmm. The wood frame of the whole building and passed in mud on that. Okay. Making it hard from inside. And they cooked inside? Cooked inside, yeah. They and had uh, a stove in the middle. And the central building here? That's a meeting room. Meeting room? Yeah. Covered uh, 160 square meters area. So it looks Polynesian. Yeah. Very similar. Yeah? Same. Very similar, huh? Very similar. Okay, we're inside the archaeological dig of Bampo, 6,000 year old village in Polynesian style huts and this is the remnants they found some bones and there was some uh, a cemetery they found with artifacts this is an example of the huts they used not much of it so the, this this was different there was a couple different shapes they found huh? yeah both in round shape this is several of them in square several were square if ever seen the public area. But it was um, grain or what were they storing? Millet. 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 Which is like a corn? Well, not that corn. Millet is very small. Smaller than, than wheat? Uh, smaller than wheat, yeah. But not rice? Not rice. Did they find rice grains? No. no. All and right. The culture was very primitive in that time. Yeah. Mostly get the This is a moat. Yeah, like just a moat. Just to show... Uh, the protection, like a city moat. And here's some of the pots that they used. Mm. Burial jar. Water burial pots. Burial pots. Yeah. Oh, these are all burial pots. Yeah, that's all burial pots. So there's the edge of the moat, it's saying. And that's the burial jars. They have done an amazing job of displaying this area. Extremely well done. Very impressed. We've got some kind of a fire demonstration going on here for the police force. 
There's a police convention in our Tang Cheng Hotel. We're still in Xi'an with a new guide. And there's the uh, fire trucks, a whole bunch of fire trucks pulled in this morning. And I think it's a demonstration for the police. He's got some high-tech equipment there. I don't know, or maybe that's just the microphone equipment. I don't know what they're doing, but winding up some stuff. And here we are on our way to the city wall. There's a convention center to the right. I'm going to try to catch as we go around through the windows here with some chickens sitting on top of a tube, an inflatable tube. That appears to be maybe the convention center. Little police vehicle in front of us along this nice wide avenue with a dividing median of shrubbery in the middle of this bustling city. We are going to visit the south gate of the city wall now, but I'm, we're standing in an oasis of quiet and solitude here in a ring, sort of like in the middle of the Arc de Triomphe. All around us is traffic. Oh, who, who's this American here? What? Now, what do you have to say for yourself, sir? Uh, can you tell me where we are? Bobadon? <laughs> what is happening here? There's our new guide. Abraham, Avram, Yitzchok, Yaakov. Well, this is the uh, designated unit. There is the 8 1. It's costing us a dollar to get into this deal, unless we qualify as students. And he's trying to buy tickets here. Oh, and here's another native. Now, tell me where I am, sir. We are standing at the base of the South Gate. If you'll turn around, you'll look at a 900-year-old ancient wall. Okay, turn with me here and continue to to um, narrate what you're seeing. There was a moat around this wall protecting the ancient capital of Xi'an from predators and enemies alike. Oh, did you see what's on the other end of this thing as we zoom in through there? Some more dragon. The emperor in the Ming Dynasty, a Hermes scholar named Zhu Sheng, advised him build the high wall and lay in stock. We just came up those steps here. So. This is for the Lunar New Year. Xi'an's location gave it the military importance. So the Xi'an, the march of the six years old, the city walls is still standing and was very tall and well fortified. We're still on the wall at Sakamoni, the founder of Buddhism, yeah. going into a, an amusement park. Still on the wall here, the ramparts. And uh, we're just scanning the area. I'm following our guide over to this walkway here. And here's some more tourists. This is the guard tower for the south gate. So there is the south gate. And looking across to the city, okay, that there's the ring around the perimeter, so to speak. And here's the beautiful walls. Looking down, shows you the 30 meter height, he said. And there are ramparts all around this area. Coming inside this arrow shooting, there's a warrior here. I think he's got his weapons ready. Look at that mean face. Oh, God, Buster, who is that? Boing! <laughs> Look at this beautiful air. Sure does. Okay, this is sort of the south gate, which is a multi tiered, multi defended area. So, this is the uh, temple of the, of the big white goose. Temple of the Big White Goose. 